difficult thing, a dangerous thing. One, two, three, go is my tool. You know, one, two, three, go, I count that and I have never backed out of a one, two, three, go in my life. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, the topic at hand would be the do it mentality. Now, the do it mentality is basically an extremely simple mindset. As Steve had just described, all it really takes is a countdown. Now, for me, this really became one of the biggest weapons I acquired on this long journey of finding ways to kind of push myself in the right direction, especially towards my goals. This idea of just saying one, two, three, go, is actually a really powerful kind of mentality. Not only does it teach us to stop overthinking things, it also prompts us to make changes before we're even mentally prepared for it. And then naturally you adapt to the situation. This kind of situation will then force your body and mind to make the adjustments required to propel yourself into action instead of just always thinking about what am I gonna do, where am I gonna go? Now, this mentality is also greatly explored by the character of Luffy in One Piece. Luffy has always been there as a character who embodies this very concept of one, two, three, and go. Throughout the anime series of One Piece, we have seen Luffy do this time and time again. In various scenes, in various arcs, in various scenarios. This is both his greatest strength and biggest weakness. Now, what do you mean by that, you would say? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the positives of a mindset like this. If we take a look at the times Luffy has just charged in without thinking too much, employing that idea of one, two, three, go, it generally ends up resulting in two scenarios. One, everything works out miraculously around him and everything works out for the better, for Luffy, for his friends, and for everyone he cares about. The second scenario, however, is that he gets separated from the crew he causes a lot more trouble than originally planned and throughout that entire arc is just them trying to fix that problem. However, I still think that throughout the anime, this kind of mindset is still something that Oda is trying to say is something beneficial for the human condition. And what I mean by this is that Sometimes when we just sit there and just think about things, try to plan and be meticulous as possible, the end result is that there is no end result. The end result is that we're still sitting there, planning out every little detail, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, and then the moment we try to take one step forward, we're actually taking three steps backwards. When Luffy tries to just run in and destroy the enemy as fast as possible, he is doing that based off his passion, based off his emotion, based off his passion for protecting the ones that he cares about or fighting for something that he believes needs to be fought. <laughs> Sense of justice and righteousness is what pushes him. And even though it causes a lot of problems, but at the end of the day, his action is what forces everyone to take action as well. Now, on a personal level, this has really affected me for the better. Starting from when I was just 13 to 14, I employed this in a more simple manner. Stuff like going up to a girl to tell them that I like them, or pushing myself on the basketball field during lunch times, or just even something as simple as going up to someone and telling them how I feel about them treating me the wrong way. It has given me courage and has given me motivation to take that one single step that I'm not willing to take because I'm scared or held back by my own thoughts or overthinking. Now, even to this day, this kind of mentality has helped me overcome difficult problems by just simply making it simpler. If we just employ a one, two, three and go, it helps us get out of bed, 
It helps us do the dishes even. And it even helps us like go apply for that job or take a leap of faith and do the things that we've always said we wanted to do, but just be sitting there and planning it and planning it and planning it. As a final thought, I would just really like to reach out to my fellow audience members who suffer from depression or anxiety. I do really think that this kind of mindset would benefit you greatly. To just be able to get out of bed or feed yourself throughout the day or do tasks that normal people would say is very easy and doesn't require much thinking. I do think that if you just try to employ this mindset, it won't help you reach your final goals, but it is definitely helping you take a step forward instead of just staying there stagnantly. Thank you guys for watching my video and just remember, take care, you are loved and let's change our lives together. Peace.